Hello, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Moog Model 15, Model D and Animoog Z synthesizers. In macOS, these are available as a sort of a, a Mac app through the App Store. Also iPad apps, I think if you have the iPad version you get the, the Mac app version. So I have the Animoog Z, the Mini Moog Model D and the Model 15. And their audio unit instruments and they appear here in studio one so i figured they should be usable but when i drag them across here you can see nothing's actually happening they're not loading so for example if i drag across the arturia uh, csedv it's working okay I'll probably do a video on this one because it seems like a really cool synthesizer and I want to really learn how to use it, but it's pretty, pretty deep. So what I've discovered is from the Moog website or Moog, you can download this. So it's a VST wrapper for the Model 15, but if I search for VST wrapper, then it'll bring up the VST wrapper for the Model 15 and the Model D and the Animoog. Animoog. So if I open up the folder that has the AU versions, it loads up this, and if I double click on that, it'll open up the components folder, and then I can just drag and drop the component for that there. Just make sure that I've closed down Studio One. Yep. Then the VST3 version, which will need authorization. And then I'll do the same for the Animoog Z, the VST3. And then the model 15. I was kind of a little bit disappointed that the original Animoog isn't available. Because I really liked it. And the Animoog Z doesn't have some of the signs that the original had. All right, so if I load up Studio One again, and now I'll have the VST wrapped version of the AU and the VST3 version of all of these synthesizers. So if I load up the AU version wrapped, now we have it. Oh, that's pretty loud. But yeah, so now it's loading up perfectly fine. I can use it within Studio One. Same with the Model 15. This one seems, I've been learning the, the tutorials on this one and it seems excellent, but it's pretty steep learning curve. I need to like really figure out each section. And then the Animoog. Really, really nice sound and synthesizers. So yeah, and then I'll just close down Studio One and I'll load up Cubius. So I'll just check it out in Cubius here and see if it's showing up. Here we've got the Model 15. This is the native version of Cubius, so that's working which is awesome. Then we've got the Model D. Also working. Excellent. And then the Animoog. So 
So, excellent. They're now available standalone in Studio One Five and also as VST3 inside of Cubius. So that's really cool. But yeah, I'll leave a link in the description of where you can download the VST wrapper for these different instruments if you have them. And I'll also leave a link to a Apple App Store price tracker where you can add these to a wish list and if they become free again or if they're reduced price, you'll get an alert to your email. So very handy. If you're looking for a good deal, you can track the price of an app or piece of software and then basically add your desired price. And once it either goes on offer or hits your desired price, you'll get an uh, email alert, but like camel, camel, camel dot com for Amazon. But yeah, hopefully this has helped somebody and I'll be back with more videos soon. Cheers.